Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, I have an article here, okay, uh, from uh, NPR.org, and it says here the dark origins of Valentine's Day. All right, and uh, you know, so-called Valentine's Day, you know, everybody. You know, all posting left and right, this, that, this, that, and the third. But, you know, a lot of Israelites, all right, you you know, as the scriptures say, really, you're not supposed to be partaking in these uh, different uh, holidays, all right, or celebrations because they're pagan. Okay, now, you know, you have it to where a lot of Israelites don't even know or understand what this, you know. See, a lot of these holidays that you celebrate that have these modern names, all right, they go back to <clears throat> the ancient world, you know, whether it's the Roman Empire or the Greeks or the Egyptians or the Babylonians. All right, it's just the same deities, same uh, uh, um, deified holy days on the left hand side, just recycled. OK, and in, and in um, partaking in that, OK, you are in a form or in a way worshiping, OK, those those uh, idols. All right, worshiping those uh, uh, uh you know, partaking of those holy days, and in turn, all right, you are angering the Most High, all right, pursuant to uh, Baruch chapter 4, all right, I believe around, you know, the, the, the fifth, sixth, seventh verse on down, okay, but Jay continues to do it, and they think that, you know, it's a tradition for them, you know, but, but it shows you, as it says, as a matter of fact, let me get it real quick, all right, in the book of, um, I'm here, Hosea 4, and six, it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because Jake is not going to take time to research and say, hey, hold on. Valentine's Day. What is Valentine's Day? Right. What is Valentine's Day? All they know is they grew up uh, um, being told and seeing it being all this, quote unquote, love, love, love. But understand that everything has an origin. Right. Everything has an origin. So what you know, what what could have possibly been the beginning of? of just all this so-called love, you know, Valentine's Day. What is the purpose, you know, what is the need for Valentine's Day, you know, as as we know it today? You know, you know, you buy your, 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 your rom romance, right? Romance, you know, you, you know, buy chocolates and flowers and teddy bears for each other and post each other on social media and so on and so forth. But the, the question is, can't you do that on any other day? So what should click in your mind is, well, why did they select one day just for this? You know, there has to be an, an origin behind it. Nonetheless, let's finish here. It says, because thou has rejected knowledge. See, the information is there. All you have to do is just type it in. Look, look for it and learn, you know, but you lack knowledge and you're destroyed for it. But the reason you lack knowledge is because you rejected knowledge. All right, it says, and so the Lord said in return, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law. All right, of thy power, I will also forget thy children, because there are certain holy days that we are supposed to keep as Israelites, and it's been, it's been ordained for us to keep it throughout all our generations. But here it is, you, you know, you'd rather partake and keep you know, uh, holidays that go back to pagan worship, all right, and pagan customs. However, when it comes to the holy days that the Lord has set for us, Jake doesn't want to follow that. So it says here, the dark origins of Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a time to celebrate romance and love and kissy uh, face fealty. But the, orange, the origins of this festival of candy and cupids are actually dark, bloody, and bit and a bit muddled. All right. It says, uh, though no one has pinpointed the exact origin of the holiday, one good place to start is ancient Rome, where men hit on women by well hitting them. On February 13th to 15th, the Romans celebrated the feast of Lupercalia. The men sacrificed a goat and a dog. See, and whenever you have sacrifice that there, there's a God involved. And we know that at this time, these Romans, it was the what the pagan Roman Empire. So whenever, all right, you 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 perform a sacrifice, you're performing it to a god. So they they perform sacrifices to these Roman gods to sanctify this day for them. 
All right, so it says the, the men sacrificed a goat and a dog, then whipped women with the hides of the animals they had just slain. Okay, it says, the and then, this is what your Valentine's Day goes back to. So, you know, oh, you the, oh you love it so much. What do you get for me for Valentine's Day? Well, if you really if you really kept it as as its origins, you <laughs> your ass would be getting whooped. It says the Rome the Rome the Roman romantics were drunk, they were naked, says Noel uh, Lenski, and that's what they used to do. They used to have uh, naked orgies as well. It says a historian at the University of Colorado at Boulder. Young women would actually line up for the men to hit them. Lenski says they believe this would make them fertile. All right. You see the, the, the hey, man, <laughs> the, the customs of the, of the heathens are vain, man. It says the brutal feat included a matchmaking lottery in which young men drew the names of women from a jar. The couple would then be um, coupled up for the duration of the festival or longer if the match was right. The ancient Romans may also be responsible for the name of our modern day of love. Emperor Claudius II executed two women, both named Valentine, on February 14th of different years in the 3rd uh, century AD. Their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church. Once again, there you go with the Catholic Church. All right, And during this time, the Catholic Church was uh, uh, setting up, you know, through their ecum ecumenical councils, they were uh, uh, setting up, you know, uh, mixing pagan holidays with holy days and then creating a celebration out of it, having, you know, Christmas and, you know, Easter and all of this, so on and so forth. OK. All right. Easter is a, is a mixture of, of the of this was supposed to be the Passover and a pagan uh, uh, worship. And that's what they did with this. So it says, um. Their martyrdom was honored by the Catholic Church with the celebration of St. Valentine's Day. Uh, later, Pope um, Galatius I modeled things in the 5th century by combining St. Valentine's Day with Lupercalia to expel pagan rituals. See? So they, they combined the two. All right. It says, but the festival was more of a theor uh theatrical interpretation of what it had once been. Lenski adds, it was a little more of a drunken revel, but the Christians put clothes back on it. That didn't stop the, stop it from being a day of fertility and love. All right. And then, you know, um, it basically goes on. Okay. And I'll put the link to, of this article in the description, but hey, as you can see, all right, now it says here opinion. Okay. So you know, it might be a op ed, all right, an op ed piece. But nonetheless, a lot of these holidays, okay, do go back to these ancient, um, you know, times, all right, these ancient uh, 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 customs, which are pagan, okay. But you got Jake all up in it now. Uh, when you go to the book of Revelation, all right, chapter 13, it says here, uh, Revelation 13 and uh, Verse 12, it says, and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. All right. And that was the first beast being the Roman Empire, which causeth the earth and them that dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So a lot of you, a lot of these holy days also or holidays, Salakia, that you serve, uh, you, you, uh, you are partaking is a form of you worshiping. OK, but these holidays go back, you know, to the Roman Empire. All right. And even prior. All right, but a lot of these these um holidays and these uh, celebrations they were keeping in the during the time of the the pagan Roman Empire has been revived today under different names. And when you partake in it today, in a sense, you are still worshiping that first beast. Okay, and you know as we know, it's gonna get more and more, you know, uh, physical. You know, when the dragon comes to, you know, put his mark upon these people. Okay, nonetheless, just wanted to bring that out real quick, man. As the scriptures say, you know. Uh, as for me and my house, we're going to serve you. We're going to keep the holy days of the Lord. All right. Not this pagan madness. OK, so with that, I hope you were edified and informed. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh. Until next time. Shalom.